Today I'm going to walk you through how to build a workflow to automate document routing to different parties for review, approval, and routing. During the creation process, I'll also show you how to provide detailed information for visibility to different parties as well. The first step is to click New Workflow and name it. From here, we will specify what we want to do with the document. I'll add the document to a user's watch list, which will give visibility to the document to anyone who submits or uses this workflow. Here I specify which document. For now, all you need to know is that any time a document parameter is asked for, the selection you will make is params. Essentially, params is equal to document, but won't get into the explanation in this video. For who to give visibility to, we can use the variable submitted by, so whoever runs the workflow will have visibility they need, but can also add this step to other default people like legal as well. The next step the document will take is being routed to legal, so they can review and choose what happens next. Under display name, this will be the text that shows up as a task for the user assigned this task. Stage name will be what's displayed to parties wondering where in the workflow the document is for visibility. We'll use params again for the document and assign this to the legal group to take care of. Or, a better route is to create a task group for legal and assign this to this task group. This allows for better task management between teams or individuals who share responsibilities. There is also the ability to compare documents automatically when you send them out for external review, so you don't have to worry about track changes being turned off because this is automatically done during this comparison step. Next, we give the options of where legal has the ability to route the document to next. In this case, either external reviewer or, after it's been approved by all parties, ready for signature. Here we can add in reviewing the document and sending for external review, where we can assign this task to someone else or legal can choose the reviewer of the document. From here, I can put in the typical parameters as a task description and visibility to others. I can also make this process easier by defaulting the email subject and message. Next is adding in the wait step for the external reviewer to submit the response or updated version of the document. Next, we can add in the scenario if it's ready for signature. Review and send for signature brings you into a familiar DocuSign envelope drafting state to choose who needs to sign the document and tag where they should sign. With minimal setup, you can automate the tagging and workflow of the signers with DocuSign eSign templates or custom document tags utilizing AutoPlace, but we'll work from a more manual process today. Next is adding the step for visibility that the document has been sent for signature. All we need to do is define the rest of the paths where the document needs to flow and can then save and publish this brand new workflow. We can now initiate this workflow from the document preview screen by adding as a custom document management action or combine this with a document generation template to allow users to generate or upload documents and automatically route them through this workflow. In this case, we'll be adding it to the document generation workflow for the previously made MSA docgen video we've already walked through. Now, when users go in and generate MSAs, the documents will automatically route to legal. On our dashboards, we can add in the document watch list so that I know as an MSA requester I'll have visibility whether it's at legal, external review, or wherever the document may be. In this case, since I'm playing the part of legal and the submitter, I can see that I have a document with a task assigned to me. When I click on the document, I can see a preview that I can read through and correct by checking in or easily through our productized DocuSign Edit or Office 365 integration. Throughout the workflow, as the document moves from person to person, the activity will all be tracked. The stage name, shown corresponds to the stage name we assigned in the workflow, and the display name, 
corresponds to the task name, which is in another area to help users manage what they need to work on in their day to day. In this case, we'll pretend like everything looks good from our pre approved template and clauses, so I can route this for external review. From here, I'm brought into my other task of choosing who to send this to for external review. All I need to do is type in the email of the external party and hit send. Everyone who needs visibility can easily view where the document is throughout the lifecycle directly from their login screen. The external reviewer isn't sent a document, but a link to the document that they can then download to make changes. and upload and communicate any comments all within our one, two, three step process to provide more guidance and control over the document in flight. Once they're done, that document is then automatically routed back to legal for review. Here we can see the version that the customer uploaded is shown, and we can go through a click to compare the documents that was sent out with the one received back. This can be done manually as shown here, or, can be set up in your workflow to be done automatically to catch all the changes that happen even when track changes are off. Now if I want to review those changes, I can click to open with DocuSign Edit, which will automatically open the document in whatever my computer's native application is, in this case, Word. From here, I can go through and accept and reject changes. When I'm done, I just need to hit save and DocuSign Edit will automatically upload the updated version back into DocuSign CLM as a brand new version. Here I can hit refresh and always go back and reference any previous versions to compare back to the original agreement as well. I'll pretend like we've agreed and this is ready for signature, where I can choose that step, but want to show the activity and comments that users can see as you go back and forth through reviews and approvals. You'll always be able to go back and reference who's reviewed and what they've said along with the current person if they viewed it as well. I'll click to send for signature and can task users with this step or in link together so that it brings me into a drafting view of our DocuSign eSign product. From here, we can see a template is matched which can automatically place tags like signature, or date signed, and workflow order when you have multiple signers. In this case, I'll walk you through this manually by typing in the signer's name and can hit send. Or in the next screen, drag and drop where I want Sam to sign his name to show up, along with the date signed up populate automatically. When I hit send, here we can see that the status has automatically updated for visibility. Switching roles to the signer, they have a brand new email sitting in their inbox that when they click, automatically brings them into DocuSign Secure Servers to sign off on the document in the area we just placed those tags. When they finish signing the document, that document is automatically removed from the watch list and a PDF version of the signed agreement is saved back as a finalized version in our document repository. Here we can add in a folder onto my dashboard to make referencing this document easier as well. If I ever need to reference back to a previous Word version of the document, this is all captured in the history, which I can reference back to as well.